So here we have a thing from Cosmo. Going to the gym isn't helping you lose weight. Recent Cosmo article, written by God knows who, has no fucking idea. So this one says, everything you know about weight loss is wrong. <laughs> like exercise is not going to do shit. 1.3k shares. That's shared amongst social media to the young girls. That's confusing. Got a picture here of people on the New York pizza run. So it says, you might think getting off your butt and moving a bit can benefit your health. It, and it can. But now experts are calling bullshit on another benefit of exercise that everyone takes for granted. They say exercise doesn't actually help you lose weight. According to a recent British Journal of Sports Medicine editorial written by Carly Oldis. Let's have a look at that. Let's fucking read that. Because that sounds like a load of shit. Let's get on to it. So if the slot but not found, content not found, they probably pulled it down. Uh, thank fuck. But anyway, so it says regular physical activity uh, for health. They're saying it's good for health, but it does not promote weight loss. The author's main argument is that obesity has skyrocketed in the past few decades, while physical activity levels have remained fairly stagnant. The obvious culprit, everyone is eating garbage. So they're using some stats there. I agree and I disagree. I agree that you can exercise your brains out, but if you're eating a lot of fat and protein, you're going to really struggle with your weight. There's plenty of professional cyclists I know out there, male and female, who train 600, 700, 1,000, 1,200 Ks a week, 3,000 kilometers a week, literally, 3,000 Ks a week, and still battle with weight because they eat too much fat and protein. So I sort of agree with this study a bit. Uh, but exercise tones you up. All right, so you can tone your muscles. So, but basically, my gripe with this article was this: the, this author saying that all calories equal, regardless of the source. They question that. I do too. But they said the truth is that sugar calories promote fat and hunger, while fat calories induce fullness and satiation. They write, which is bullshit because you can go and chug a bottle of olive oil, and you're gonna want something sweet afterwards, aren't you? You can have a sweet fruit meal or a sweet rice meal. And you're done. You're finished. Satisfied. That's why so many people struggle on the keto diet, paleo diet. They're all like, I crave sweet, I crave sweet, I crave sweet. When you get enough carbs, you don't crave extra, extra, extra fats. And uh, and the whole bit about carb loading to provide energy for workouts, they're saying you don't need carbs to work out, girls. You just need more fucking pre-workout powder. A great way to give yourself metabolic damage. Oh, that's right. Metabolic damage doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. And uh, no, nah, it doesn't exist at all. Take as much stimulants as you want. Won't fuck up your metabolism and endocrine system. Not at all. Ta abusing stimulants, using stimulants, won't affect your adrenaline system at all. Won't affect the adrenal cortex or your taking the contraceptive pill. Won't affect your hormones later in life. Just take the pill, swallow the fucking pill, shut the fuck up, and get back out of the doctor's surgery. Next. Crazy. And a high-carb diet could increase athletes' risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Well, this person who did this study needs to get up the fucking speed and fucking read Dr. fucking Neil Bernard's book on reversing diabetes with a high carb diet, low fat, low protein. And this person, this, this, this shill wrote, and athletes who eat low carb diets can just as easily burn fat for fuel, but you're going to be like laying on the ground in fucking ketosis and fucked. Show me fucking one professional athlete who even bothers with a, a keto diet. No one can fucking do it because you can't fucking train. And if you can't fucking train, you can't get fit. And if you're not fit, you won't get fucking paid. So simple as that. But then, the, then the extra thing says. So it says, don't eat sugar. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar is bad. Sugar promotes hunger and fat storage. And it says, eat pure and processed foods and drinks. Don't fear dietary fats and don't overeat. So eat fats, but don't overeat. And unless your fork is full of fresh fruits and veggies, and in which case, eat as much as you can, but don't eat too much sugar. Because sugar promotes fat storage and hunger. But eat as much fruit as you want. But don't eat too much fruit. Don't overeat. But but fruit's okay. Like, Confuse the girls, confuse them. So you read that the article and you're just as confused and you're probably just as under carb because you're following some 1,200 calories, 600 calorie day bikini style diet, or whatever. That you bought some fun fat on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and you don't know what the fuck's going on. So you just pop your Xanax and go to sleep. Go back to sleep, girls. Nothing to see here. But the reality is, these researchers fucking forgot that it takes literally two kilos approximately to burn one kilo of fat. So you got to breathe in kilos of oxygen to burn one kilo of fat so if you're sitting on your ass then you're really slowing down your journey aren't you if you're out there breathing breathing just breathing the more air you take in the more fat you burn that's what people use epo and various drugs that increase oxygen 
So all you have to do is don't use EPO because you might get a stroke and a heart attack. So eat a high carbohydrate, low fat diet. Because what happens when you eat low fat? Your oxygen can get to your red blood cells a lot better. Your uptake, delivery, transfer of oxygen is increased with high carb, low fat, low protein, vegan diet. So if you're having dairy, you're clogging your lungs. You can't burn fat as effectively because your lungs are clogged. You can't get the oxygen in. So low carb is like disaster because you've got so much fat in your blood. You can't circulate oxygen. Oxygen uptake, transfer, delivery of cells is inhibited on a low carb diet. High fat fucks you up. The answer, solution, breathe, high carb so you can keep breathing. Your glycogen retention gets you out the door. You can keep using your little muscles along. Glycogen sufficient every day. Walking, riding, swimming, playing, fucking, dancing, whatever. Looking after your kids. Be a real fucking parent. Get your kids fit. When your kids are fit from you training them, you'll be fucking fit too. So carb the fuck up. Get the oxygen. 27 kilos of oxygen, one kilo of fat. Look it up. Look up how fat is burned in the body. Educate yourself. Cosmo, get fucked.